Um, the final one of these is web, and I know we're running tight on time here now, so we'll just do this quickly, but what Lightroom's brilliant for as well is anybody who has a website and you have a gallery that you want to upload photos to, just quickly for people to flick through, this is a really good way of, of doing it. You'll see here, look, you can add in a site title. So I could say, uh, I could say engage live walkabout. Um, you could add some information on here and I could say you know, uh, walkabout for engage live, whatever you want on here, well, engage live. Um, and take that out or t you know, take, take out whatever bits you want. Now, this will create, in the same way as a book or a slideshow, um, it'll create a web gallery. So for instance, a classic gallery, you can have a grid gallery. You could have a square gallery. All right, so there's loads of options on here. But if I take, let's take, our square gallery, um, we can click on one of these and it'll come up full screen. Look, this is all done automatically for you. It looks like a website that you've gone on and it's as easy as just select your photos, put them in the grid gallery and you've got more galleries online as well as it says there. But look, let's, let's mug about with this one just for two minutes. We've got a color palette, black background. Yeah, that's okay. Um, You know, maybe make it a, a sort of a, a dark gray, or you can add a color in here, whatever you want. Um, I'm fine with that. Thumbnail size, medium, do we want them small, medium, or large? Let's try large. No, I like medium. We'll stay medium. Uh, thumbnail loading on scroll. So that means as I scroll over it, the image highlights like that. And then output. So the image, when I click it, right? The large images, what size do I want them? Do I want them watermarked? I'm going to take that off for now, look, and it's, if I put that on, it puts on that standard John Deere photography thing. I'm going to take that off for now if I'm only showing some clients. I might want to reduce maybe the quality on here. Maybe I'll reduce, look, the, the quality down so it's only a draft or something, but what, whatever way you want to keep that. Sharpening, standard, that's fine. Now, this is the only bit that's kind of tricky about it because as it is here, look, you'll see I click on it and it allows me to toggle through left and right like that or close the gallery. That's like a little web page in itself. I can export it, but down here you'll see that you've got, you have to have FTP details, so file transfer protocol um, up to a server if you want to host it. Um, most of you will probably have websites or at least be thinking of getting them. If you do, you just go into your, your FTP uh, settings, put that in, and it's dead easy then. You just go upload, and it'll upload straight onto the web, be fully viewable for you there. So it'll be fully customizable. Um, you can move these around, change them whatever you want, and then onto your server, you just click on here and say edit the settings. Now. This is where you put on your server address, your username, your password, and then, well, we'll leave that for now and just click OK. That would give you a path to upload this and you just click Upload, look, put in a subfolder called, and I'll say, uh, Engage Live Walkabout, and that will automatically create a subfolder on my server called Engage Live Walkabout, click upload and it'll upload as a web gallery. There's a lot of kind of background coding that goes on to creating something like this. So the fact that Lightroom just, just does it for you as easy as that is, is brilliant, you know. Um, so I hope that was helpful. I mean, I know it was a bit of a, a whistle stop tour of all of Lightroom, but some of you will use all of them. Some of you will only use library or develop, but it's an absolutely brilliant piece of software for developing photos and I highly recommend um, getting it and using it as much as you can.
So thanks for watching on Engage Live. Make sure to check out all the other brilliant tutorials that are on there and sign up. There's a great community on Facebook. There's a great kind of a, lots of ideas going on there, lots of kind of sharing of good tips and things like that. So get yourselves involved and thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon.